Hey guys, what's up? I Psychotron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next video, and in this one, I'm talking about the uh, sneak peek or the announcement, I guess, from Supercell. I'm talking about the uh, new update they're coming out with soon, and specifically how that's going to change the war matchmaking system because it's it's been the same since it came out. So this is definitely going to be something that people aren't used to. And from what I've read and from other people are saying, it's going to profoundly affect the uh, war community and just clan wars in general. So let's, let's talk about what they've said and what effects I think that will have on the game. So starting off, um, one thing is they're removing the 35v35 and 45v45 wars. And uh, that kind of goes hand in hand with uh, making some changes to try to make the wars closer like they're, they're um, making it based off of uh, the top attackers more I think they're trying to just get it closer in general they're trying to get rid of the mismatches which is easier said than done but um, by getting rid of the 35v35 and 45v45 I think the idea is that more people are going to fit in the same category so in, instead of people not being able to match because one's a 35 uh, person search and one's a 30 person search uh, if they're both, say, 30-person searches, then they can match if they're even. So it's just going to put more opportunities for a bigger pool to draw from, so there's more likely it's going to be a close match. So that is that does kind of suck for people who like doing 35v35, 45v45, because I, I know uh, a lot of the One Hive clans do 35-person uh, wars. That's a, a good number. It, it's pretty common. So... Yeah, I mean, we can't do that anymore, but I think, you know, people will complain for a little while, but to be honest, it's not that big of a deal in my opinion, and I think that um, I, I think that we can just do 30 v 30, 40 v 40, even 50 v 50. Um, it would be nice not to, but yeah, it, it's something that's needed, and it, because if you want wars to be closer, there has to be less... Um, less options to choose from because the more options the more that sorts you out into different pools and the less people in each pool or the less clans in each pool at a certain time to search so the less likely you'll get a close matchup so anyway um they're they're, they're getting rid of 35 v 35 45 v 45 i think it's not necessarily the best but it's necessary um they're also going to put a greater emphasis on defensive village progress and less uh, emphasis on offensive army progress. That's reading it right off the right off the post online. And I'm a little bit confused by this, to be completely honest. Um, I think that it should be more based off of offense because the whole reason people do town hall, you know, uh, 9.5, 8.5 is because they want to get their offense up because offense isn't counted in the war. So you, you, you get matched off your defense mostly right now. And what it sounds like is that Supercell is basically making that exclusively uh, off your defense. So you could literally have a Town Hall 7 defenses and Town Hall 10 uh, offense, and you'll get matched with the Town Hall 7, uh, or you'll be weighted as a Town Hall 7 in the matchmaking process. So it, it almost feels like they're going in the wrong direction on that one. Um, so I don't, I personally don't necessarily think that's the best idea. Um, but it, it is what it is. Um, and I, I think it's already kind of like that. Like, I don't think heroes and troop levels have much of an impact. I think heroes have a little bit, but as far as offense goes, I don't think that really had much of an impact anyway. Uh, but I guess they're taking out what little weight it does have. And, uh, it's going to make town hall 9.5, you know, doing offense first, not dropping the inferno. So it's going to make that more, more, uh, of a thing. So I'm, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to do that with my account, but it seems like it's going to be the smart thing to do either way. So we'll see. I just I feel like this is just encouraging the 9.5s, uh, which isn't necessarily how I think the game should be played. I think you should ha you should be building the defenses ideally as soon as you get to that town hall level. Uh, but for war, especially with this update, that's not going to be the incentive. So we'll see how that affects it. But I don't think it's that big of a change, to be honest, because I think it was already mostly based off of defenses. Uh, but I, I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know the exact algorithm they use. Um, but besides that, the next thing they said is that uh, some late game defenses and troops like the, the Eagle, Inferno Towers, and the Warden will have a much greater matchmaking impact. 
And I think that makes sense just because um, Infernos are a big deal once you drop them, so they should have a great impact on your weight. Same with the Eagle and the Grand Warden. So uh, hopefully that'll prevent the matches that we sometimes have against kind of low-level bases that have Inferno Towers because sometimes uh, you get a clan that has like 20 Town Hall 10s with all kind of trash bases and, and for, but Inferno Towers, and it's just not a fun base to attack. It's it, it, it it's kind of tricky, and uh, I think in an ideal war, the Town Hall 10s should line up pretty evenly. Um, it, sh- it shouldn't just be the total because there's a, there's a difference between max Town Hall 9 defenses and then low-level Town Hall 10 defenses, but Inferno Towers. So I think that th- this should help. Um, next thing they said is that Clan Wars matchmaking will favor matches between clans with similar uh, recent win-loss records in the recent wars. So basically it's saying that uh, a new factor that your matchup is going to be based off of is how much your clan is winning lately. So if you have a clan that's won 10 in a row, you'll more, you're probably going to get matched with another clan that's won you know, 5 to 20 in a row. And I think that's probably out of this entire update. This is the best thing they've added. Um, now this does come with kind of an asterisk, and that's modding, because obviously the modding clans, assuming they're not doing arranged wars every war, and I think they're kind of like fair play clans in that they do some kind of random wars, so I think the modding clans are going to have very high records, uh, very high win streaks, and that's going to match them with some of the top fair play clans. So I think we're going to see kind of a mixing with uh, modding and fair play because um, now it'll be all the, all the top clans will be going against each other, and obviously there's nothing to separate these two types of uh, clans. So I think the Supercell has to deal with modding if they're going to uh, if this is going to work. I I just feel like um, it could be so awesome to to have wars where you're constantly getting matched up with good clans with anti three star bases. I think that's what everyone in the uh, war community wants. But um, how it is right now, I, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen is we'll get matched up with you know some good f- fair play clans, but also some modding clans. Uh, there's just too many of them out there not to. And I think that. Um, we just don't see it that much. I don't think we've been matched with a modding clan for a while, um, and it's it's very few and far between. But I think this is just going to show uh, people how prevalent modding is because a lot of people have been shielded from modding just by the vast number of of clans in the search. You're more likely to get matched with a farming clan or kind of a more casual war clan than a modding clan. But now you're going to get matched with the top in the game, and unfortunately that's going to be mostly modding clans. So we'll see how that works out. But I, I like the idea. I, I love it. I, I love the idea of not having to face uh, one of those, the general, you know, that base, an anti-two-star base. I like the idea of going up against clans that are winning also. And um, it, it's just, it, one, it, modding has to be dealt with, I think. So uh, we'll see how this ends up affecting the game and how m- much matches uh, happen with modding. But I feel like uh, it's going to be a lot. And... Uh, Supercell has to do something to keep the uh, war community happy about this. But anyway, um, let's move on to the last one here as I go on to the last attack. Um, team versus team compositional checks have been added to weed out imbalanced uh, war matchups. So I this is kind of speaking in a different language to me, but I think what it's saying is that um, it's going to be the matchmaking system is going to be uh, let me go all the way to the bottom. It explains it a little bit more as this attack happens. Um, okay, yeah. Um, so it seems like they're putting a greater emphasis of matching on the top of the war map than the bottom. So, you know, like as it is right now, uh, they try to match both clans holistically, but I think. Now what it's saying is that they're going to um, make it based off the top more. So they'll try to get the Town Hall 10s, if that's the top, matched up better. The Town Hall 11s matched up. So maybe each clan will definitely have, let's say, four Town Hall 10s or one Town Hall 11. Um, And maybe the bottom might not quite be as even. There might be three Town Hall 8s on one side 
in no Town Hall 18 on the other side. But I think this is a great feature to add because the bottom's getting three starred anyway. It's not the bottom that's important, it's the top of the war map that matters. So that has to be matched up pretty evenly. And I think that's what they're saying they're going to do here. Um, so as I fast forward through this last attack, um, overall I think Supercell has taken a few good steps in the right direction. And I, I, I like seeing this. Um, it's great just in general to see them you know, communicating with the war community and showing that they're actually trying to make uh, uh, or add new features that are intended to help war in the balance of it. So I, I like it. I think that um, they, there, more things need to come and modding is still kind of staring us in the face at this point, especially with the new uh, win streak matchmaking system. So uh, we'll see how it works out, but I hope you guys enjoyed the attacks in the background at the very least. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for this update when it comes out. So hopefully you guys are too. And I'm sure there's going to be a few other things beyond just these uh, war matchmaking changes. So those should be fun too, possibly even a new troop. But anyway, don't want to speculate too much. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sactatron out.